We're going to stay on the theme of spooky. We've been talking about Halloween movies throughout the morning. So the Hollywood Museum is actually featuring sets and props from Hollywood's scariest and most memorable films. Yeah, and a short time ago, we showed you the Dungeon of Doom. Well, now, <laughs> iconic film historian Leonard Maltin joins us from the Ghostbusters exhibit. Good morning, Leonard. There is no better person to discuss this topic with than you. We appreciate you being with us. Well, I'm happy to be here. Yeah, Leonard, let's I'm get started. I'm always happy to be here, actually, at the Hollywood Museum. I love this place. Oh, and so do we. We're learning so much about it. Well, we want to start off by asking you, tell us a little bit about the exhibit you're in right now. Well, this is their Ghostbusters exhibit, which is uh, sure to uh, delight and uh, satisfy any fan of the film or the, the series of the, what they call the franchise. That's the actual Ectomobile that you saw in the 1984 movie with Dan Aykroyd and uh, Bill Murray and Harold Ramis. And there are some of their outfits that we wore in the movie. And the proton pack, oh, which is that. crucial <laughs> to the movie. It sure is. And uh, all of this stuff, you know, it, it, it just conjures up such immediate memories of that film and its sequel and its subsequent sequels. It's, a, it's an idea that was uh, hatched by Dan Aykroyd, who was interested in paranormal things, uh, actually, not, not in a comedic way, but for real, and uh, wrote it originally hoping to co-star with his pal John Belushi. Belushi, as we know, you know died prematurely, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, Harold Ramis stepped in with Bill Murray, mm -hmm. and they, you know, th that was a winning combination. And the film was a sensational hit. It was the most, uh, up to that time, it was the most successful comedy ever released. I love this history that we're getting about. I never knew a lot of this stuff. But, I, you know, I want to ask you, what do you think makes a good Halloween film? Maybe some scares, a good plot. What else? You're the expert. Well, for, no, no, no. It's not a matter of expertise. It's a matter of opinion and, and, and you know, your, your own uh, taste. Uh, I like... I like some lightness to my Halloween movies. I don't mm -hmm. like gory horror <laughs> films, graphic horror films. I like some films with fun in it. Uh, did you see Shaun of the Dead? Uh, that's a, a zombie film with a sense of humor uh, out of England made by uh, you know, people who, who understand how to s give you the, the scares and the chills, but also how to make you laugh at the same time. Well, Leonard, if you had to choose a scary, gory one, I know you've seen a plethora of these movies. If you had to choose one, what would it be? Well, we're talking maybe The Exorcist or, Ooh, or 28 Days, which is an all-too-believable horror movie about a plague. Uh, that's what makes that scary, is it could happen. Uh, but I, again, I, I tend to go for the fun stuff. My all-time favorite is Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. Mm -hmm. Because Abbott and Costello are funny, and they're allowed to be funny, and then you have Bela Lugosi playing Dracula, and Lon Chaney Jr. playing the Wolfman. These are roles that they created, but and they don't play it for laughs. They play it for real. Plus, Glenn Strange as the Frankenstein monster. It's a it's a perfect movie. And it, that's a movie that you can watch with your kids. I like that. And you know what? I think that's what makes Ghostbusters so great is the fact that there is that comedy in the movies. And you get the laughs, you get the scares, and you get the, ooh, what's going to happen next? Mm -hmm. Yes, but it, 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 it's not gory. Yeah. It, it, it can, for little kids, it might be a bit much. It could be intense for, for, for some of them. But uh, I think we're, we're growing, whether we like it or not, we're growing a hardier breed of children these days. <laughs> They're exposed to so much more than I ever was, goodness knows, or even my daughter. Yeah, they're a lot tougher than us, right, Leonard? Thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate yeah. your time and your insight. Always a pleasure.